uh, this class is being recorded. So for anyone who is going to join us later, is going to find out what we have done. Now, basically, uh, first and foremost, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for making an effort and even convincing your parents to continue with your education online. Remember, I always say that a crisis uh, is there, but that one should not deter you from, of course, uh, pursuing your dream. So thank you so much for that. Secondly, I would like to welcome you for this semester, that is May, August semester, for the French class that uh, I'll be taking you through. I hope and looking forward to have a very, very wonderful class with you as always. So what uh, I'm asking you to do is just to do your part by paying attention. And in case you have any question, we'll have that time where you can channel all those questions, all your worries or anything else that uh, you might not have understood as we move along. So as I always say, I'm your teacher, Mr. Dixon, as always, as you always call me, Monsieur, I'm here to help you pursue your career that you chose to pursue at Zetech University. Now, first and foremost, I would like to take you through, before I come to what you're supposed to cover this semester, I would like to take you through a number of things that uh, we studied last semester, because that is very important. First, I introduce you to the verbs, and that is where we are going to spend most of the time because I believe, as I always tell you, that for you to master French, for you to understand French, the most important thing you need to know is the verbs. I hope you have your notebook and a pen because there are a number of things I'm going to mention as we move along. I expect you to note them down kindly as much as you have your phone, make sure that you develop that culture of taking notes and I will appreciate. Now, I introduced you to the verbs and that is first group verbs, second group verbs and third group verbs. So we say that verbs are classified in three groups. So we have got first group verbs as I've said, second group verbs and third group verbs. So first we ask ourselves, what are first group verbs? Remember, first group verbs are verbs ending in er and we say that they are also called er verbs and again we say that all verbs ending in er are first group verbs except which verb you can also take advantage of the public chart kindly which verb does not fall under first group we say that all verbs ending in er are first group verbs except which verb Except uh, which verb? The verb ele. The verb ele, Evelyn. Very good. So all verbs ending in er are first group verbs except the verb ele. Very good. Now, under the same first group verbs, we have got verbs beginning with a consonant. We have got verbs beginning with vowel. So we say that there are some special groups of verbs falling under the same category. The conjugation is the same, remember? They are conjugated the same, but uh, there's some uniqueness in some verbs. Like for example, we talked about uh, verbs beginning with a vowel or silent H. So when you talk about the subject pronoun, le pronoun sujet, je, le premier personne singulier, c'est lui qui parle, tu, the person you are addressing familiar, il, elle, nous, vous, il, avec S, elle, avec S, that is, uh, those are what we call the subject pronoun, le pronoun sujet. Now, remember, we conjugate the verbs alongside the subject pronouns. So we say that to conjugate first group verbs, we add some endings to the stem. Remember, the stem of the verb is the verb in its infinitive form without what? The ending, which is ER, right? Now, when we talk about uh, now the stem, we have a common base alongside the subject pronouns. So you drop the ER, remember. So once you drop the ER, so you add E to the subject pronoun, je. Talk, for example, the verb manger, the verb chanter, 
the verb écouter. Now, for example, take the verb parler to speak. Parler. So if you want to say I speak, which is the first person, I is je. So you have to literally can mute, uh, mute your, for, your, your mic, mic because uh, you know I can do it on my end, but I want you to be good students so that we don't interfere with the class. Huh? Kindly. Can we do that? Can we do that? Christine Rabera, can you meet, mute your mic? Christine Bisera, mute, mute your mic. Buru, do the same. Kindly. Very good. Buru Anjiku. Okay. Now, I was saying that to conjugate first group verbs, you add the endings E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E N T. I don't know whether you can see my board here. Can someone confirm if you can see this board? Can you see the board? No. You can see the board. Oh, I can see it's clear now. It is clear. Now, just allow me. I want to write some things on the board. So I say that uh, we have the subject pronouns. Eh? Je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il, stroke, elle. So remember, I'm reminding you of the conjugation of which groups of verbs. First group, verbs. I've talked about the endings. So for example, here we talk about the verb parler parler to speak, so we add e to je, es to chi, il, l, we add letter e, nu, we add o, n, s, vu, we add e, z, then il, l, we add e, n, t. Please confirm you can see what I've written. I can see. It is clear. So basically, yeah. this is this is what I'm talking about. So you see, je is the first person. For example, this verb parler, you drop the e r to form what? The stem. Now to that stem, je. So you say, how will you say I speak French? Hello, how would you say I speak French? Je parle français. Je parle français. Très bien. Je parle, Je parle français. français. Je parle français. Tu, tu parles français. The meaning the pronunciation is there? It's the same. Tu parles français. Il parle français. Elle parle français. So, how do you say Evelyn speaks French? Anyone? Mm, if le uh -huh. Go ahead. Evelyn Paul Francais. Evelyn Paul Francais, très bien. So, for example, I ask you a question. Est-ce que Evelyn Paul Francais? So you simply respond, oui, Evelyn Paul Francais. Remember, we talk, talked about the, the interrogation also last semester. So that is it. So when you talk about uh, nu, you add O, N, S. Remember, nu, you add O, N, S. Vu, you add E, Z. Now, remember, all first group verbs, all first group verbs, the pronunciation changes only in the nu and, nu and, vu. On, A. Remember this one, this one, the ones are put X. Regardless of the verb, they are pronounced the same. From the first person to the third person singular, je, tu, il, elle, on, Paul, the verbs are pronounced the same as the third person, third person, third person, plural. So when you talk about the verb parler, so you say je parle, tu parles, il, elle, on, parle, Victor parle, Jacqueline parle, now nous, 
du coup, sur ONS, oui, c'est nous parlons français, nous parlons en classe, nous parlons français avec mon sudixon en, en classe. Vous parlez, is it. So that is what is silent. This one is pronounced, vous parlez. Third person plural, the ENT is considered just like the mute letter E. If you go back to where I introduced you to this language semester one, when you are learning the subject pronouns, I mean, I mean the, the, the vowels and their effects when it comes to the transition, I did mention that the ENT, this one, when it comes to the conjugation of verbs in the third person, then the verb is pronounced the same. It does not bring any, any effect at all or any change when it comes to the pronunciation. So we say, we say, il parle, elle parle. Les étudiants de Zitec parlent français. Massi et Evelyn, elle, you see, elle parle français. Qui? Massi et Evelyn parlent français. Take the verb, for example, aimer, or admirer, or habiter. What did we say with the subject pronoun je? Remember, we say that when a verb begins with a vowel or silent h, the subject pronoun je become what? J apostrophe, right? I hope you can see what I'm writing, eh? Je become je apostrophe. So, for example, we say jem. Jem. So, these are the special or the uniqueness of the first group verbs. Remember, the endings are the same. So, note when the verb begins a vowel or silent edge, je, je, je become je apostrophe. And again, Kindly, 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 the person uh, interfering kindly, with the class. Kindly. I don't want to. Victor, want Victor to... Hagai, kindly. Victor, kindly mute your mic because you see, uh, uh, you can come to class now and then disturb us, please. Kindly. Now, uh, sorry for that. When I was making a point of the uniqueness of some first group verbs, where when you have the verb giving the whole silent edge, for example, the verb habite, admire, these verbs, as you can see, they begin with the whole or silent, or silent edge. So what it means is that you must remember that the je becomes a apostrophe. Just, uh, and that is what we call uh, elision suppression of oil. So that uh, that can make uh, even transition of that, uh, that verb easier in the company of what? Of the subject pronoun. And then in the spoken French, we say that in the plural forms, nous produce sound Z, vous produce a sound Z, il, elle produce the sound Z. We say that, for example, the verb aime, we say j'aime, GM, ES, il, L, M, I, nous aimons, Z, vous aimez, il, L, Z. Then, just to wind up with first group verbs, we also talked about the verbs ending in G, E, R, and the verbs ending in C, E, R. I hope you remember where we say that verbs ending in G, E, R, the return letter E, in which form? In the new form. In the new form form only in the new form remember the endings are the same these verbs are regular in the new form and we say that we do that to create a smooth sound of letter of letter g kindly right then finally verbs ending in c -E are here for example sorry we have the verb like monje to eat the verb like protege to protect they return letter E in the new form, and we do that to create a smooth sound of letter, letter G. Finalement, we have verbs ending in C, E, R, where again, in the new form, we said the only consonant which has what we call a punctuation mark or an accent under it is, is letter C, which makes, even if I may say, the French alphabet to be 27 instead of 26 because of this. And this one happens when it's following with letter O, letter R, letter U. This is what we talked about last semester. So therefore, 
that one applies because we add O N S. So when letter C is following letter O, then you take that accent and remember again in the present simple tense of the application of the verbs ending in C E R, it only happens in the new in the new form. So we have the verb like commencer, commencer to commence, avancer to advance. We have prononce to pronounce. So when you conjugate this verb, remember there is nothing much here. Once you master the endings, you master the verbs. The most important thing to remember or to note or to take to consideration is the new form. What happens in the verbs with C before ER, with G before ER? Any question so far? That is uh, basically a summary of first group verbs. First group verbs we learned last, last semester. Now, allow me to clean my board. Now, secondly, we talked about uh, the second category of verbs, and that is uh, the second group verbs. Second group verbs, we say that they are verbs ending in I, I, R. Ce sont les verbes qui terminent en IR. Exemple, le verbe finir, choisir, réfléchir, remplir, bénir, applaudir, unir, réunir, etc. Réussir, bien sûr. So, we have a second group verbs, as I've said, second group verbs are verbs ending in, ending in ER. For example, the verb finir, the verb choisir, the verb réussir. Now, these are, these are basically second group verbs, among many other that you have on the document I shared with you sometimes back. So remember we said first group verbs are ending in ER, except the verb LA. Now we have second group verbs ending in ER. Now we say that verbs ending in ER are second group verbs, but remember again here, I remember telling you that not all verbs ending in ER are second group verbs. We have quite a number of third group verbs having the same ending, just like second group verbs. So the most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, what you need to remember is this. Master the second group verbs to save you from confusing yourself or yourselves with the third group verbs, which have the same ending, just like the, the second group verbs. Now, on the conjugation, even before I mention about the conjugation, I did say that, I did say that, or I did remind you that, that we have first group verbs, which are regular verbs. The second category of verbs, which are, which are regular. Masi wa yua, Masi wa yua, kindly mute your mic. So the verb finir, the verb choisir, the verb re, the verb reusir. So second group verbs are also are also regular verbs. To conjugate them again, you simply drop the ending er to remain with the stem. To that stem, you add the ending as first person. You add es. Third person, you add the same es. Third person singular, you add it. Nu, you add I, double S, O, N, S. Vu, you add I, double S, E, Z, pardon. Il, L, you add I, double S, E, N, T. So, these are the endings. These are the endings of, these are the endings of the conjugation of second group verbs. E, S, E, S, E, S. We have the first three are pronounced the same. E, 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 I, S, I, S, I, S. E, 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 I, S, I, S, I, S. Now, 
Take, for example, the verb ray you see to succeed. Of course, you will succeed. So when you say, for example, je ray you see, tu ray you see, il, elle, ray you see, nous, ray you see, sont, vous, Réussissez, il, elle, réussissent. Réussissez, so you see this verb here. I hope you can see very well. So, no. You can see? Yes, you can see. So, who is that saying he or she can see? Can, can't you see this? Can you see this? No. Masi, where you are? You can see. Masi, where you are, you can see. Yes. Uh, Mugambi, Cynthia, can you see what I've written on the whiteboard? Can you see what I've written on the whiteboard? Anyone who can see? Yes. Yeah. So basically what I'm saying, I'm just reminding you of what we have done. You have this in your notes. I'm just reminding you about the conjugation of first group verbs, second group verbs, and third group, third group verbs. Okay. Now, then we move to the third group verbs, where we have what majority of the verbs. I'm not really going to dwell much on that because uh, I think we talked about that. And uh, just to remind you that uh, that is where now you need to spend a lot of time because majority of verbs fall under, under third group. As I say, first group verbs are regular, second group verbs are regular, but third group verbs are irregular verbs. For example, we have the verb prendre, the verb comprendre, the verb attendre, etc. The verb vouloir, to want, etc. So those verbs are irregular verbs. We looked at we look at some of them as we proceed. Just to remind you on the same. So any question so far? Any question? Yes, so because the third group verbs are irregular, does it mean there is no form of how they are conjugated? A good question. Very, very good question. Now, I want to, I want to explain that very fast. Now, as much as we are saying that first group verbs are regular verbs, second group verbs are regular verbs, now, third group verbs are irregular verbs. Now, remember, majority of verbs fall under, majority of verbs fall under third group, yeah? That's the verb. Now, there is no, there's no particular formula, if I may answer you, there's no particular formula that applies to the conjugation of third group verb across. Remember, first group verbs have a common formula. Second group verbs have got a common formula. But third group verbs, they have what we call sub-small groups. I repeat, sub-small groups, which will, really, which will really guide you on how to conjugate some verbs having the same behavior, okay? Verbs behaving in the same way the same manner so when you talk about uh, the conjugation of third group verbs uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen so we say that uh, third group verbs uh, are irregular verbs i just want to demonstrate uh, with uh, one verb uh, which is having the same ending just like first group verbs uh, and that is the verb
Whoever is, sir. Whoever, whoever is muting me, a guy, a guy mute your mic, Njuguna mute your mic, kindly. Mugambi Cynthia mute your mic. Njuguna, Njuguna mute your mic, Victor mute your mic, because you see, from my end, I can remove you from uh, from class if you are disturbing the rest kindly. So let us uh, be good people. Now, a question was asked uh, about uh, a question was asked about third group verbs. Now, as I've said, first group verbs are regular verbs meaning they have a uniformity when it comes to the conjugation second group verbs are regular verbs now the young lady has asked me now when i say that third group verbs are irregular verbs does it mean there is no formula on how to conjugate them of course there is a formula but this formula is limited across meaning we have got verbs verbs behaving the same way. So we have got what we call sub small groups. For example, when you talk about the verb respond, the verb respond, to respond, the verb attend, to wait, the verb entend, to hear. So you see, you see these verbs, you see these verbs, Respond is to respond, attend is to wait, entend is to hear. We also have the verb paired. Paired is to is to lose, lose someone or lose something. So these verbs they behave the same way. How do you conjugate them? You drop the R E, then you add S, S, nothing, O N S. E Z E N T to the stem. So you see, these verbs have a way of conjugating them. So meaning this one does not apply to all third group verbs. So that is what I mean by being irregular. So we have got some groups, some small groups, or some verbs having the same the same behavior. So that is the most important thing you need to note that there's no particular way or method you are going to apply all all referring to all third group verbs like the first group verbs and second group verbs remember we say that all verbs ending in er are first group verbs except the verb ale now why did we say that the verb ale the verb ale does not fall under the verb ale does not fall under first group so ale is a third group verb so we say je vais je vais tu vas il elle va nous allons vous allez il elles vont je vais the verb aller means to to go so for example you say je vais à l'école i'm going to school Je vais à l'école, tu vas, just like, uh, I hope you can see, this is the verb of conjugated. Je vais, tu aller, je vais, tu vas, il va, Irene va, Victor va, elle va, il va. Je vais à Paris, je vais au Kenya, je vais aux états unis je vais, tu vas, il, elle va, nous allons. Nous allons en classe. Vous allez à Nairobi. Vous allez. Ils vont. Elles vont. Les touristes français. Les touristes français vont. Les touristes français vont au parc national de Nairobi. Les étudiants vont à Nairobi. Vous allez bien. Remember the greeting. Comment allez-vous? Nous allons, nous allons à Nairobi avec notre professeur. 
Paul, Paul va à la piscine. Paul is going to the swimming pool. Tu vas où? Tu vas où? Where are you going to? Tu vas où? Je vais bien. I'm doing well. Je vais à la maison. Où vas-tu? Where are you going to? Où vas-tu? Je vais à la maison. I'm going home. Je vais à la maison. Tu vas? Je vais. Je vais, tu vas. Remember the best of the dialogue. Je, tu, nous, and vous. Remember the rest, we're talking about the third party, either singular or plural form. So I don't know whether I've answered your question so far. Yes, it's clear. Yes, thank you. Now, any other question? So when I call your name, if you have a question, you ask me because I see everyone. Now, uh, Evelyn, you can uh, unmute your mic just for a second, but remember, tell the people around you that you are in a class so that they don't make noise, kindly. It's a class setup. Now, uh, Mugambi, Cynthia, any question? Anything you need me to clarify? Silence means you are okay. Juguna Wangari, any question? Fine. Victor, any question? Unmute your mic. Juguna, you can unmute your mic. Juguna Wangari, any question? Pardon, question. Victor, Evelyn Wanjiku, mute, unmute your mic. If you have a question, you can ask. Buru, any question? Masi Wayua, any question? So we can proceed. Pardon? Any question? So we can continue, eh? We can continue. So basically, that is the summary of uh, that's the summary that is the summary of uh, the classification of verbs, which is very very important for you to to understand. So in case you have anything you need me to clarify, just make use of the public chat kindly. I will see them. Okay? So I believe we are we are okay so far. Now, I hope you have the course outline with you. And you've taken your time to go through the same, right? another group of verbs what i call pronominal verbs reflexive verbs now what make these verbs different as compared to the other verbs remember these verbs cut across all the groups whether first group second group or third group or third group or third group verbs so please allow me to wrap this board and i really want to be brief on this so that you understand what i mean by pronominal verbs i've sent you a document on a powerpoint presentation converted to pdf well explained well simplified just to help you 
illustrated quite a number of examples of those verbs both in French and in English, just to help you understand that. Now, when you talk about uh, pronominal verbs or reflexive verbs, ladies and gentlemen, now, reflexive, reflex, reflexive verbs. So when talk about pronominal verbs, these are verbs which are accompanied with what? With a pronoun, with a pronoun, le verb pronomino. Pronomino. Le ver pronomino. Si. Le verb pronomino. Le ver pronomino. Pronominal verbs. Can you see? Le ver pronomino. Pronominal verbs. Now, pronominal verbs, this word pronomino, the word you've seen pronomino, that is what now makes these verbs different from the other the other verbs simply to mean these are verbs which are accompanied with what a pronoun meaning before the verb there is a a pronoun you can you can be going through that document that i've just sent you there's a document i sent earlier but there's another one that has accompanied it which is well 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 elaborated now a pronoun so the most important thing, once you understand where the category or where this bus fall, then there's nothing much to worry. The only thing you need to remember or to know or to master, not cramming, is how this pronoun is changing as per the subject. Remember, we conjugate the verb alongside the subject, pronoun, le pronoun sujet. So, ce sont les verbes qui sont accompagnés par le pronoun ce, this pronoun ce. They are accompanied before the verb. There is this pronoun word. The pronoun word, se, s e, before the verb, before the the verb. So basically, these verbs have this pronoun which is changing as per the subject. That is, if the verb begins with what, with a consonant. When a verb begins with a vowel, it becomes what, s apostrophe. For example, we have the verb se laver. Lave, you see here, lave, L A V E R. Lave is to wash, washing your hand. So lave is to bathe, bathing. So what does this mean? Pronominal verbs are also called reflexive verbs, reflect action, meaning you are the subject and you are the object. So lave, I'm bathing myself. No one is going, is doing it on my behalf, meaning you can bathe the kid. But now you yourself, you bet yourself. So that is what it means by this verb, se laver, se laver. Take the verb, for example, se réveiller. The verb réveiller, the verb réveiller, réveiller is to wake up. Se réveiller is to wake up oneself. You are waking up yourself, you are awake. No one is waking you up you do it what yourself so that is it is you are the subject you are the object meaning that you are doing it by yourself the verb se préparer se pré se préparer préparer this verb we looked at it last semester prepare is to prepare so meaning you can prepare something you can prepare someone but now se préparer se préparer simply means to prepare one self for example i want to say i'm preparing myself for french lesson today i'm preparing myself you are doing it yourself but when you say i'm preparing notes you are preparing notes not yourself je prépare mes notes i'm preparing my notes je prépare le dîner i'm preparing dinner je prépare le petit déjeuner je prépare mes enfants, je prépare mon lit, etc. Meaning you are doing, you are preparing something or someone, but now by the time you are doing something to yourself, then, then that is where the pronoun comes in. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand that once and for all. Se laver. Remember, these verbs can start without what? Without the pronoun. 
but the meaning will not be the same. Lave is to wash, reveille is to wake up, prepare is to prepare. But by the time they are accompanied with that pronoun, then the meaning is changing. So that is what we call reflex, reflexive, reflexive verb, action reflecting back. Se blesser, se blesser. Blesser is to hurt, not to bless. Blesser. Se blesser. So blesser is to hurt. So what, we, what does it mean to say se blesser? Se blesser is to hurt oneself. Meaning you are hurting yourself. This action is not caused by a third party. You are the, the person. You are the root cause of it. So that is what it means with what we call pronominal verbs, as we say le verbe pronominal in French. Any question up to that point? Ladies and gentlemen, any question? Carol, while we are, I see now you are here. Christine, Becerra, any question? Anyone with a question, just ask. So Evelyn, I have a question. Yes, Evelyn, you are the one talking. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, because us. it the reflexive, the reflect, the reflexive verbs mean the doing action to yourself. What about when it's another? You want to say that he's doing. Uh -huh. Okay, how? <laughs> like, how do you explain another person doing the action? Is the other person mm -hmm. doing the action to, to the, okay, the other person, sorry, the other person now doing the action to you or to something else. Now, let, let, let I think I got your question. Huh? Now, let, mm -hmm. let me, for, for example, you see the verb manger, manger is to eat. Can you eat your, can you say I'm eating myself? Evelyn? No. No, you can't, you can't eat yourself. <laughs> so, so, so that is what, what, what does that tell you? The verb manger will never be a reflexive verb. Now, see, you can wake up someone, right? You can wake up yes. someone. Someone can wake you up. You can also wake up yourself, right? You are awake yes. yourself, like now you are. So, I, I want to really to understand what it means by reflexive verbs or prominent verbs. So there are verbs that cannot cannot be reflexive. The verb sombrase to embrace, eh? sombrase. Right? Remember, we talked about the verb embrace to, to embrace, embrace something or embrace someone. Now, you see, I'm sure you can embrace yourself, right? You can embrace one another. You can embrace something or someone. So that verb can also fit in either cases but the verb monje cannot the verb abite can not you want to say i say oneself no it's not you see it is not making it is not making what it is not making sense right so there are verbs there are verbs that cannot Sorry, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, I I pressed something by mistake, right? You can hear me, eh? Yes. You can. 
you can hear me so sorry i think uh, i i pressed something by mistake sorry for that now i was explaining uh, something let me just show you the video so that you you try to see kindly bear with me now you see these are first group verbs so as i've said from the question the young lady asked uh, evelyn this verb can stand lave now when you say lave when you say for example i'm washing my clothes washing my clothes je lave je lave mes vêtements je lave le verse meaning now washing utensils okay now that one action is being applied to something else someone you can say je lave je lave ma fille i'm bathing my daughter meaning that you are doing it on behalf of of that person but now when you are doing it to yourself that is now what you are going to understand when it comes to what when it comes to the conjugation of the conjugation of the verb and that is where i want us to head to, to so that you understand from the question if lynn asked what it means now when you want to say you are doing action to yourself and then when someone is doing it so i'm going to do the two scenarios so that you understand evelyn i hope uh, you got my point right yes i got the point thank you now uh, please uh, allow me to allow me to wrap this again So I think when you do this, it will be very easy for you to understand the document, how you're supposed to conjugate the, the verbs. Huh? It will be very easy for you as I demonstrate. Now, I've given you so many examples of the verbs in that document. Okay, so many verbs. Now, I want to talk about, uh, for example, the verb I wrote here, se, se laver, or se lever. So, lever is to, to rise up. Huh? Lever is to rise up. So, you are rising, for example, you are, you, you are sitting in a, on a chair, or you are sitting somewhere, then someone tells you, rise up. Remember, you can raise your hand up, you can raise something up, you can rise up yourself. So get the difference. So the verb se laver, the pronoun se is changing as per the as per the, the subject. And that is where I want us to really understand how that pronoun, which makes this verb to be called this pronoun of verbs, how it is changing. So the first person, je, se become what? Me. So it says, je me lève. I hope you can see that, all of you, kindly. Can someone confirm? No. You can't see what I've written there, or it is because of light? My phone is blank, the page is blank. You can't see this? The camera, you can see this, what I've written here. Someone? So let I can explain that through the public chat, right? Acha, acha, get the Sorry? How is the light here, Simu? Light here, Simu? Mm. For me, I think this room is where there's a lot of light. Of course, even the window. Let me see if you can see now. You can see? Evelyn, can you see what I've written here?
The rest are not talking. Let me explain using the public chat kindly, eh? Sawa sawa. Now, I was saying, let me explain uh, now pronominal verbs using the So Buru said uh, you can see very good. Now so 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 remember the verb se lever se lever so this verb when you conjugate it se lever that verb I posted I'm using public chat kindly masi why you are don't don't post anything kindly masi why you are don't post anything so se lever is to rise up so we say Je me lève. Je me lève. Tu te lèves. I prefer using the board. To live, il stroke elle se lève. Nous, nous nous levons. Vous vous levez. Then finally, il stroke elle se lève. So basically, you see, I started with the verb so leve to, to rise up, to rise up, not to wake up, to rise up. Now, you see this verb so leve, it also means for example, you are you are in bed, you are sleeping. So we have the verb surveye as I'd explained. Surveye is to wake up. You know you can be awake, but you are still in in bed. But now surveye, surveye is now you are coming out of out of the bed. I, I hope you are getting the difference. Eh? Surveye does not only means to rise up, but it also means, for example. You you stand up, Kusimama. That is, eh? someone say lève toi. Je me lève. So someone asks you, what time do you wake up? This is the verb you use, se lever. Now I hope you are getting my explanation. Eh? What time do you wake up? Se lever. What time do you? What time do you wake up? Sorry, se réveiller. Se re, se re, se réveiller. Se réveiller. Se réveille, you wake up. Se leve, you rise up. Like the sun, the sun rises. The verb is se lever. Se leve. We have the verb se coucher. All these verbs I'm talking about, you have them already at your disposal in the document. Se coucher, the verb. I don't know. I want to change the whatever of the camera so that uh, you can see the board as I write. Front, back camera, yes. Let me see if uh, it will work.
Can you see the board? Confirm. So I'm talking about the verb se lever. That verb. Can you see? Very well. Yes. Very good. So allow me because I'm uh, doing this myself. So se lever is to, you see, se lever. Se, 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 this is the pronoun. Making this verb to be called pronominal verb or reflexive verb. Reflect action, reflexive, reflecting back. Lever is to rise. Se lever, to rise up. You are doing it yourself. So, se lever. So you say, je me lève. You see that? Je me lève. I, I rise up. Je me lève. Je me lève. Meaning that you are the one rising up yourself. No one is. The best way, how do you say? Anyone? Hello? Anyway, I'm not good as well. Kujia? Kujia Musa? Kujia Musa too. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm teaching you French, you will teach me Swahili. Je me lève, tu, you see now, so becomes what? Me. I want you to pay attention to what I'm surrounding. You see that? Because if that verb was not a come with a pronoun, Je, we say je lève. You see, this is a first verb, right? Je lève. But now you see, je me lève. I rise up. Whoever is muting me, please, if I give you authority, don't do that kindly. There are people who are here to learn. Please don't 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 do that. Huh? I'm seeing Masi where you are locked. Okay. Now yes, uh, uh Masi where you are, you you are okay now. But you are offline. Now, I was explaining myself. I hope you can see. Eh? So I was. Uh, let me enlarge it. Finally, now, me, I rise up myself. Chi te live. You see that? Chi te live. Chi te live. You now. I'm telling you. Chi te chi te live. Il. Elle. Se lève. Il se lève. Paul se lève. Paul se lève à 7 heures. Paul rise, rises up at 7 a.m. Paul se lève. Now, nous, nous, levons. Vous, vous, levez. Then il, elle, se lève. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing I want you to understand, look at what I've done. You see what I've surrounded here. These are the pronoun how they're changing as from the look, première personne singulière or troisième personne plurielle. So je me lève, tu te lèves. Il se lève, elle se lève, nous nous levons, vous vous levez, il, elle se lève. Remember, the endings of first group verbs you can see still retain. The only thing we have introduced here is this pronoun, making this verb to be called le verbe pronominal. Je me lève, tu te lèves, il, elle se lève, nous nous levons. Vous vous levez. So this additional pronouns is what makes this verb to be called reflexive verbs or pronominal verbs. Any question? Any question, ladies and gentlemen? 
so far so good eh i want us to have a very lively class so if you, if you have a question you better ask me so that i don't uh, assume carol wawia yes any question carol any question no you are okay so far no huh i'm asking are you okay carol i'm asking you a question Sava? Christine, Bissera, any question? I'm fine. You're fine. Thank you. So you yeah. so far to go. We are we are together so far. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Evelyn Wanjiku. I, I don't want to leave anyone behind. Kindly, please. Evelyn, any question? Yes, all is clear. No, everything is clear. Everything is clear. Merci beaucoup. Mugambi Cynthia. Vous avez des questions? Silence means it's fine. Wambui? Fine. Juguna Wangari, any question? Buru Wanjiku? Buru and Jiku, unmute your mic. If you have a question, that is. Why you want see any question? Masi, why you are any question? Njuguna, any question? Whose mic is not clear? Mine. Now, can everyone confirm if you can hear me clearly? Kindly, kindly, uh, I really want us to move together. So if you can hear me clearly, Evelyn, can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can. You can. Masi, where you are, you are not locked. Masi where you are. Masi where you are, you are not locked. From my end, you are not locked. Njuguna Wangari, you can hear me clearly, kindly. Silence means everyone is fine. Okay. Now, I plead with you to, to mute your mic because uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time here. Now mute your mic. Very good. Masi, where you are, you, you are the one locking yourself, not even me. I've seen that you are the one locking yourself, so you can unlock yourself also at the same time. Now, so you you can see, you can see how how this verb has changed. Let us do another one. Let us do another one so that we see what happens the verb the verb se réveiller wake up se réveiller se réveiller se réveiller is to wake up. So, Mute your mic, please. Thank you. Now, se réveiller is to wake up. So, you say,
Karolu Mawia, can you mute your mic, please? Because I will lock you. Now, se réveiller is to wake up. So he say, je me réveille. Tu te réveilles. Il, elle, se réveille. Nous, nous réveillons. Pardon. Nous nous réveillons. Nous nous réveillons. Vous, vous réveillez. Il, elle, se réveille. Il, elle, se réveille. Pardon. Se réveille. I hope you will see the ink is diminishing. I hope you will see what I've written kindly. Let me try to use a different color. Because I know some of you will have a problem with seeing just what I've written. I don't want to repeat myself, so bear with me. Sweet remote is so there. Donc, Je me réveille, tu te réveille, il, elle, on se réveille. Nous, nous réveillons. Vous, vous réveillez. Il, elle se réveille. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've just conjugated the verb se réveiller, se réveiller, can you see, anyone to confirm, Evelyn, yes, it's clear, very good, so you see, the verb se réveiller is to, to, to wake up, for example, now I want to ask you, what time do you wake, do you wake up in the morning, meaning you are the one waking up yourself, a quelle heure, Tu te réveilles. À quelle heure tu te réveilles? What time do you wake up? Je me réveille. Je me réveille à 7 heures du matin. I wake up myself. Translation. I wake up myself, meaning I wake up. I wake up at 7 a.m. Je me réveille à 7 heures du matin. I wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning. À quelle heure, à quelle heure Paul, à quelle heure Paul se réveille? What time does Paul wake up? Il se réveille à 16 heures. He wakes up at, at, at 4 p.m. If at all that is possible. Je me réveille. Je me réveille. Tu te réveilles. Il, elle, on se réveille. Nous nous réveillons, vous vous réveillez, il, elle, 
So, Reve, remember I told you at the introductory part of this language that the verb, when you have got double L, double L become Y, especially when it is the final in words. Remember the verb travaille to, to work, travaille, double L E R. So, reveille, to wake up. Now, there's a question I think, Evelyn, you are the one who asked. Now, what happens, or how do you say now the action is being done by another person, right? That's what you asked me. Now, I think at this point, I want to answer that question. So, je me réveille, I wake up myself. But when you say this, when you say, je réveille ma mère, you see what I've written here? Confirm you can see this? Yes. Je réveille ma mère. I'm waking up my mother. Now you, you get the difference? Yes. Je réveille ma mère, meaning that the mom is not waking up herself. You are the one who did it on her behalf. So in this case, mm -hmm. the verb réveille has not been used as the pronominal verb, but it has been used as just the normal the normal verb. I hope now yeah. I've answered that question. Right. Je réveille ma mère. Je réveille Paul. For example, you say, je vais réveiller ma soeur pour aller préparer le dîner. I'm going to wake up my sister to prepare what? Dinner. Meaning you are the one. She's still asleep. Wende una, una muamusha. Right? I hope that's the right Kiswahili word. Je réveille Paul. Je réveille. In fact, you see the alarm. Alarm is called a reveille. You know, alarm, you use it to make you awake, to help you remember something. Maybe you have the calendar, you have some days that you need to remember what you are supposed to do, or you want to wake up early or at a certain time. So you set the alarm as per how you program what? Your day. So the reveille, a reveille is also, alarm in French is called what? A reveille, to wake you up or to remind you of some obligation that you're supposed to perform at a particular time okay yes so basically i i think that is uh, that unless someone has a question you can ask monsieur before monsieur proceeds any question i hope you are taking notes and i hope you are writing these things down so that uh, you remember any question? No. So that is Evelyn speaking. Huh? Evelyn, you are yes. very vocal in, in this group. Or it seems uh, you, are en you are enjoying in this class. Huh? The rest are not talking. Yes. Any question? I, I hope you are taking notes. Huh? Yes. Any question? For those who don't want to talk, you can use the, the public chat to ask me a question or anything you need me to clarify because I really want us to move together. I really want us to move as a team, kindly. Can you please repeat? Sorry, I didn't hear your, your concern. I have a problem. Sorry, I, I didn't I didn't hear your question. Please come up again. Kindly, I, I didn't get your question correctly. Please uh, repeat. Please pardon. The rest, can you mute your mic? The rest, can you mute your mic? The rest, apart from the person asking me, the student who is asking me the question, kindly. The rest, mute your mic. Uh -huh. Please, you, 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 kindly, kindly, use the public chat. I can't hear you. Use the public chat to ask that question. I beg.
I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the question. Please let us use the public chat if you if 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 you if if you have a problem uh, uh, with your mic or uh, I don't know maybe network problem kindly just send me a message on uh, on uh, on the public chat I will see I will see that please so that I want us to move together kindly. I'm waiting. Masi, where you are? Uh, unmute your mic and then you let me know what you want me to pardon. Masi. Masi, will you unmute your mic? Masi, you are, can you hear me? Evelyn, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, you are very, you are really, really concentrating, and uh, I appreciate that. Because uh, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with Masi, 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 why you ask Mike, I, I don't know. Because uh, now she has asked me a question to pardon, I, I don't know what, 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 what she need me to, to, to repeat. Mburu Wanjiku, you are fine? Njuguna Wangari. Njuguna Wangari, any question? Seems she's fine. Buru is okay. Jugona Wangari, you are fine. Let us make use of the public chat kindly because if if you keep quiet, I don't know, I don't know your concerns. And I don't want to move on leaving anyone behind. Please. Now, I, I hope that is clear now. Please, uh, I want you to note this. Huh? I want you to note this and... Uh, yes, Masi, where you are? I wanted you to, to direct the camera so that you can, you can write. You can, you can write? The... You can uh, note this, huh? Yes. Uh, is it clear, you can see? Huh? Confirm? Yes. Yes, right. Uh, uh, you have one minute. And anyone else noting that, please? So remember the vows is to reveille to wake up oneself, huh? Ujiamusha, like I was told, to wake up oneself. So we say, je me réveille de me te, se, nous, nous, se. So this one is basically how the pronoun is changing. That's the most important thing I really want you to note here. That uh, the pronoun is changing. Just a minute. The pronoun is changing as per the subject pronoun. You see what I have circled, huh? So that is how the subject is changing. This is a first group verb conjugated the same way with the ending e, e, e s, e, o, n, s, e, z, e, n, e, n, t. So you see, the only thing we have introduced here is the what? Is the is the subject pronoun, which I mean the the object pronoun. Sorry, these are the subject pronoun. Le pronoun sujet, le pronoun d'objet, et le verbe qui termine en o r. Donc, la plus importante ici, c'est se rappeler de comment 
le, le pronom d'objet change selon le, selon le sujet. Il faut noter ça. Merci. If you are done, you confirm. Hein? I'm done. You are done. We are done. Huh? Yes. Good. So we can proceed. Thank you. Now, I want to bring your attention to now when the verb begin with a vowel what is changing all these things you are going to find in the document the pdf presentation i prepared for you lovely people on this then we'll take a small break right then we wind up okay but for now let me just talk about uh, now when a, a pronominal verb begins with a well or silent a like the verb sabie sabie is to dress oneself kujivalisha nguo okay sabie we have the verbs senerve to get nervous senerve you see that when a verb begin with when this uh, this is a, a vowel then this one is also changing the same but it will remain a post truth so long as the verb in the first three person and the last person so for example the verb sabie which i've said is to to dress oneself sabie so we say je ma sorry pardon je m'habille je m'habille I'm dressing up myself. Tu ta tu tabi es il stroke el s apostrophe sabi nu 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 zabion vu vu Zabie, E Z. Vous vous habillez. This is H A B I W L O Z. Il, elle, s'habille. That is the conjugation of the verb s'habille. Same a plus the verb s'énerver to get to become nervous. You are nervous yourself. So you see, M has become. M, M E has become M apostrophe because that is a vowel. So je m'habille, tu t'habilles. Now, for example, you can be asked to share what you do by the time you wake up. So, for example, I say, the verb se réveiller. Moi, je me réveille à 5 heures du matin. I wake up at at 5 a.m. Je me je me lave le visage. Je m'habille. I I I I for example, I prepare breakfast, I, I dress up, then take breakfast, for example, then again, for example, when I'm going somewhere, I leave the house, I take a matatu, etc. So you see, these verbs, basically, we'll use them, especially when, for example, you say about your program of the day, what, what you do in the present, in the past, in the future, as you are going to see as time as time goes by any question maria yes yes you there's a lot of noise from your end okay any question no you are you are fine yes you, what have you understood? What have you learned? Maria, can, can you tell us what you've learned? Carol? Yes. What have you learned? 
in 30 seconds what have you learned okay Christine Bissera, what have you learned so far? I've learned that. Yes. In a verb to the vowel or silent H, yes. you put an up. Uh -huh. Anything you, you want to add? Everything is fine. Okay. Evelyn, Evelyn Wanjiku. Yes. Anything you've learned so far? Yes. Anything yes, you've learned? Yes, in the conjugation of the... Yes. Uh-huh. In the conjugation? That flexive verbs uh -huh. in the first group verbs is, is ne uh -huh. then second group is few uh -huh. and then the il l and uh -huh. on uh -huh. we add we add se uh -huh. uh -huh. nu nu remains nu vu uh -huh. remains vu uh -huh. and Ills, ells, and ons is soon. Is so. So with that we say yeah. we say for example they also reveille, je me reveille, tu te reveille, il se reveille, Paul se reveille, Evelyn se reveille, nous nous réveillons, vous vous réveillez, il elle se réveille. Les touristes se yeah. réveillent tôt. Tourists are waking up very early themselves. They, they wake up themselves. So that is uh, basically what we have learned. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, those are what uh, you need to remember when it comes to the conjugation of, of, the, of the pronominal verbs, what we call reflexive verbs. So uh, based on what I've just uh, talked about, I want us to try, I want us to try to conjugate this verb, all of us, okay? And, you send Before me that, excuse Sorry? me sir yeah yes a... yes excuse that is christian to sarah right yes yes christian ask apo kama niko tukiingia kwa second group verbs ah apo conjugate ina ina baki to even the same way tumefanya the group 1 kwa group 1 eh come up again i i didn't get your question clearly when See, can we do it the same? Yeah, I'm talking. Oh, oh, yes, uh, I'm listening. Welcome to completing this one. Yeah. Uh, this one, you come up to me to me examples are first group verbs. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, if at all, if at all there is a reflexive verb which is yeah. falling under second group verbs, I want you to get me clearly. If there is a, if at all there is a second group verb that uh, is 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 behaving like a as a, a, like a, how do you call them reflexive verbs, then the the conjugation is the same. The only thing you need to you need to know is how the pronoun is changing. Okay. The pronoun which accompanies that verb changes. But now the endings remain the same. Remember the second group verbs we conjugate as we add I S, I S, I T, I double S O N S, I double S E Z, I double S E N T. So as I said from the beginning, that reflexive verbs can cut across first group, second group, and third group. So the only uniqueness of these verbs, they are verbs which can only be used as pronominal verbs. But there are verbs which can also be used either as reflexive verbs or the normal verbs. I hope you are getting my point. Eh? You, you got me? Yes. Yes, yes, very good. So I, I think now I want to challenge you, lovely people. 
Now, I want to challenge you. I want you to conjugate for me this verb I've written on the board. And I want you to, 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 to post. I'm giving you three minutes, huh? just three minutes to conjugate the following verbs. A is the verb sombra se. B is the verb. Masiwayo, can you mute your mic? And the rest. Sorry? Yes, I'm going to show you. Just be patient. Se sombra se, the verb se blesse. So, can you see those two verbs? All of us can see. Sombra says the first verb S apostrophe E M B R A double S E R. Then we have S E, then blessé. So sombra says to embrace oneself, so blessé is to hurt oneself. So I want you to, and then let me add the third one, so prepare. So prepare. So please conjugate those verbs. I'm giving you a break of. Uh, how many minutes? 15? Have we noted those verbs? Sombrase, soblese, so prepare. I want you to conjugate this verb, then uh, we'll take it back from, from there. Okay? I think I think you can do that within 10 minutes. 10 minutes fine, huh? Please. Okay. Any question? Who's about the question? So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, anyone anyone willing to take the floor to share with that uh, with us either of those verbs that you conjugated? Any any of those verbs? You just choose one. Any volunteer? Is 
you know, I've been always a very liberal person. Evelyn, you are willing? Yes, but I'm wondering how. Where do I write the answer? No, you don't write. Now you speak. Now you speak. Now you see you had conjugated the verb. So now you tell us or add, okay. yeah? Yes. Now the rest, the rest, you, you mute okay. your mic. Yes, the floor is Evelyn is the one talking to Monsieur and the rest of the of the class. Yes, yes, Evelyn, you can proceed. Which verb? So the verb prepare. So prepare, so prepare. You know, we have the verbs prepare to prepare them. So prepare is to prepare oneself, huh? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Go ahead. All of, us, all of us, we are learning yeah. kindly. Give her, give, give her time. So, uh, yes, we learn by making mistakes. I always say that. That's how you perfect yourself, okay? Yes, yeah, so don't don't feel intimidated. Monsieur is yeah. here to support you, eh? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm? Je, je you can never you, you can never you can even share your welcome with the rest. With, with 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 so that they see you as you uh, if that is uh, if that does not disturb you. Pardon? You can even share your webcam, your your web, your webcam so that we see you, if possible, that is. Okay, I don't know where to connect. You don't know how to connect. You you see now. Let me. Are you using a laptop or or the or the or the or your phone? My phone. Now on, down there, down there, uh -huh. you see there is a there is a plus, there is a, a yeah. mic. Then it's the last one there. Is the last one. I don't know whether I can take a screenshot yeah. and send you. Yeah, so there's, there's a place for the camera. I don't know whether the, the setting I, I put can allow you to share the webcam. But try to to just oh, proceed. Uh, just just oh, oh, my partner. Yeah. Yeah, so try. Okay. Très bien. Now I'm seeing you. Bonjour. Bonjour. I hope the rest are seeing are seeing are seeing the the the, the, the serious lady. Uh, now you we, I I love the background. Eh? It is a very good environment to learn. Bravo. Yes. Uh, now share with us what uh, what you have. Yes. When hmm? the verb preparing. Uh -huh. So, je me prépare. Uh -huh. Tu te prépare. Il se prépare. Il se. Il se. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Then, nous préparons. Nous, nous. Nous nous préparons. Oh, hein? oh. Nous nous préparons. Uh -huh. Then they... Vous vous parlez. Uh -huh. Then ils or ils se préparent. Uh -huh. Now, uh, she really did well. Now, just just a, a, a bit of correction. The word the verb préparer, préparer. So it ends with letter E. So we say prepare. Je Je me prépare. Je me prépare. Tu te prépares. Okay. Is is silent, okay? Il, elle, on se prépare. Okay. Nous nous préparons. Okay. Vous vous préparez. Il, elle se prépare. Okay. Meaning, the only time the pronoun is changing is the nous and vous. Just like the normal fast group verbs. Eh? Prépare, 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 okay. but. Preparon, prepare, then prepare. 
So we are just inserting the pronoun which accompanies the verbs of prepare, which comes in between the subject pronoun and the verb conjugated. Il, je, je, me, tu, te, il, se, nous, nous, vous, vous, il, elle, se. Then, now the verb, je me prépare. Je me prépare pour aller à l'église. I'm preparing myself to go to church. You see that? Je me prépare pour aller à l'école. I'm preparing myself to go to school. Preparing myself. But now, you see, from the beginning I said, the verb préparer can also stand alone as the normal verb. Je prépare le dîner. Je prépare le petit déjeuner. I'm preparing breakfast. Je prépare ma soeur pour aller à l'école. I'm preparing my sister to go to school. Meaning that when you know, una, una, una tairisha, you, are, you are preparing, I don't know how to say it in Swahili, you are preparing your sister to go to school. Kumwasha, kumvalesha, every A, B, C, D, you know. Kumvalesha nguo viatu. So you are the one who is doing it on her behalf. But if you are doing it yourself for yourself, you are doing it for yourself. That is what you say. Je me prépare. Je me prépare. I'm preparing myself. Tu te prépare. You're preparing yourself. So, for example, I want to ask, tu te prépare pour aller où? Unajitarisha kuenda wapi? Unajitarisha. You yourself. Eh? Unajitarisha kuenda wapi? Where are you preparing? You are preparing yourself to go where? You see, someone, you, you, for example, your sister, your brother, your mom sees that you are busy uh, uh, preparing yourself and then this person concerned, where are you going to? You know, but you can also prepare someone for something like for me now, I'm preparing you in order to, to, to speak French or to, to learn French. You see that? I can also prepare for this class you can also prepare for the but you want to say je me prépare pour le cours de français i'm preparing myself for french class so ladies and uh, in fact i'm just seeing ladies in fact kenya ladies are very serious eh? I've, I've realized that yes i can see uh, her guy was here and he disappeared he okay, did technical appearance and then disappeared now uh, any questions so far? Evelyn, thank you so much. I hope uh, you understood where you need to, to correct. And that applies across. Eh? Any question as we wind up, ladies and gentlemen? Sorry, no. here the only lady. So, Evelyn, you are fine. Uh, huh. Let me see. I'm seeing some chat here. Njuguna Wangari, Trebian. Je me prépare, tu te prépares, il se prépare, nous nous préparons, préparons. Vous vous préparez, il, elle se prépare. Any question? Masi Wayua? Masi is not on. Oh, is not on. Ama. Yes. I don't have a question. I wanted to answer. You wanted to? Answer. The, the next one. You, you, want, to, you want to try? Go ahead. The floor is yours. If you if you are at lib you are at liberty to, to share your webcam, uh, no, so we no, can no. also. Uh, uh, so it's fine. It's fine. It is. It is. It is. It is not a must. Huh? We we respect your privacy. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Bienvenue. Uh, the verb blessé. Yes. Se blessé. Se blessé. Se blessé. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. Je uh -huh. me bless, blesse. Je me blesse. Je me blesse. Uh -huh. Tu te blesse. 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 Tu nous nous blessons. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vous vous blessez. Uh -huh. Vous vous blessez. Il elle se blesse. Hein? 
So uh, let me just take that again. Je me blesse, meaning I'm hurting myself. So for example, maybe, you know, you know, someone can, something can hurt you and then maybe someone also can hurt you, then you end up hurting yourself. I want to understand what my point, eh? So je yes. me blesse. So I ask you, pourquoi tu te blesse? Why are you hurting you are yourself? Pourquoi? Mm. Now, if you are doing it on my behalf, or you are the one doing it for me, so I can ask, pourquoi tu me blesse? Tu me blesse. So that is a topic that you do next semester under the, the pronoun, different forms of pronoun. Why are you hurting me? So you can, someone can say, why are you hurting yourself, right? You are doing it yourself. Yes. But you can also say, why are you hurting me? Why are you hurting him? Why are you hurting her? Why are you hurting your mom? Meaning that you are the root cause, not herself, not himself. So that is a, a different thing altogether, okay? That one we'll understand later on. So basically here we're talking about reflexive verbs, le verbe pronominal français, les verbes qui sont accompagnés par le pronom. Le pronom qui change selon les, les pronoms sujets. Je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, elle. Le, le premier personne singulier, je, je me. Deuxième personne singulier, tu, tu, te. Troisième personne singulière, il, elle, se. Le premier personne pluriel, nous, 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 meaning nous d'abord. Vous, 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 il, elle, se. Donc, c'est vraiment important de maîtriser comment conjuguer les verbes pronominaux comme je vous expliquais selon le tableau. Et j'espère que vous avez appris quelque chose. Maintenant, je vais m'exprimer entièrement en français. Je suis vraiment désolé. Si tu ne pouvais pas apprendre ou comprendre, avec le temps, tu vas, vous allez vous habituer, d'accord? Alors, j'espère que j'ai bien, bien expliqué que se passe avec les verbes le verbe, le verbe pronominant. Si vous avez des questions, vous pouvez me, me demander. Sinon, je vais terminer le cours avec un conseil. Allons-y. Any question? Everyone to unmute the mic now. Class is ending. I'll mute your mic. Uh, uh, I will start with uh, Carol, Carol uh, Mawia. We are told we use reflexive form in, in French when one does something to oneself. You get that? We use the reflexive form in French, like just had explained, when one does something to oneself. Reflexive is an adjective. It means reflecting, reflecting. It shows that the action is carried out on the person who is doing action. Okay? Let me just take that again. We use reflexive form in French when one does something to oneself. Now, reflexive is an adjective. It means reflecting. It shows that the action is carried out on the person who is doing action. French pronominal meaning. Pronominal is an adjective means having a pronoun. I want you to understand where now the, the name pronominal verb or reflexive verb comes from, okay? So pronominal is an adjective, it means having a pronoun. Pronominal verbs have a special pronoun before the verb. So those ones are highlighted, me, te, se, nous, vous, se. That is according to the subject pronoun. In addition to the subject pronoun, je, te, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il, elle with s. So ladies, uh, this is the document I've sent you. There is an, a video, I think some of you have gotten an opportunity to watch the video I posted earlier. Please, uh, all those are supposed to help you understand this. In case you have any question, we, we, we created a WhatsApp group. And that WhatsApp group with time, I will filter it for only students who have registered for their course this semester. So that one should be very, very clear. Not just anyone is going to be that group, 
we are going to use that group just to as a backup because you know these are blended learning so we'll be using it maybe for in case there's any communication we are going to use uh, that platform to remind you just like i posted that we had a club we are, we are having a class and anything i want to add or anything i want to remind you uh, about uh, and again that platform we can also use in case you have any concern please feel free to 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 communicate to chat me my phone is on my number is the same so we are here to learn uh, thank you so much for your time today i hope uh, you 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 learned uh, you learned something and uh, uh, god willing we will uh, we will continue doing what we always do eh? yes monsieur is here for you thank you so much take care of yourselves sanitize wash your hands frequently avoid shaking hands avoid hugging avoid unnecessary movement stay at home and above all ladies i can see here i only have ladies ladies take care of yourselves don't stress your parents the best you can do now they have given you opportunity to continue with your studies when others are missing this chance the best you can do is to do everything possible to convince them that they made the right decision of course challenges will be there challenges will always be there in anything you do that one should not make you regret anything i'm sure one day whether monsieur will be there or not you will look back and thank god that i made the right decision and uh, please thank your parents on my behalf they are wonderful people May God protect them and please continue loving them. The best you can do to them is to remain an obedient child, a God fearing child. And if you do that, God will bless you big time. Okay, thank you. Poor Sana.